All right, we are back again with to get just this, get this freaking star here, in a, in a dry world. This is another one that you have to use to. Uh, it's called downtown, but it's, it's I just call it like the mini town or whatever. Like if I'm talking to my friends about it or whatever, which isn't often. But um, yeah, I just refer to this freaking place as mini town because that's basically what it is. Like it's just a mini town. Which is really cool, actually, by the way. Whenever I found this place, I thought it was so freaking awesome, and I didn't want to leave, and I, like, found every secret and every coin there. Which, there isn't, like, many secrets. There is a cool little freaking thing, though, where you can, like, look through one of the doorways on one of the buildings, and you can see how it's just empty inside. I always thought that was cool. I always thought I'd see, like, a table or something that they hid in there, but... Of course not. There's nothing. It's freaking empty thing. Come on! Like, yeah, it's some bullshit stuff in this. Like, you know, the, just stuff that wastes your time in this game. And I don't like it. There you go. That's that's actually another possible way you could have got that red coin there. Okay, so don't hit that yet. Do not hit that yet. This is actually the door where you can look through it. Nah, I'm not going to get it. Anyways, your camera gets stuck in there, so not worth it okay this is called race through downtown for a reason because you have your invisibility cap and it's we're going to be wearing off really quickly so you want to run as fast as human well mario lee possible come on come on don't get stuck on those buildings it's me yelling at myself okay so that come on that thing i stepped on enables these blocks that just spawned there, that help you get to the top. That was actually not a bad romp. That took me about two minutes. Just all the freaking swimming just, like, really builds up. So that's Wet Dry World. We did that in about, probably, an, an episode. Probably an episode's time. That's, yeah, that's not freaking bad at all. So, like, now we'll go to Snowman's Land, which... I think it's, like... I think it's this one? Yeah. So, um, this is another one of those invisible, uh, worlds... Because if you look through the mirror, you can see the Snowman's Land painting, but it's not here. It wasn't that tough to figure out whenever I was a kid. You just look through the freaking mirror and you jump in. So, like, this is called Snowman's Big Head. Because if you look up, there's a big snowman's head up there. So, we're going to do some of these stars out of order. There's a really, really easy uh, maze of star over here you can get. I think it's called, like, Through the Ice Maze or something. But, um... Oh, no, wrong way in. Um, you go in back here, you walk a certain number of blocks. Yeah, you have to do something specific. Here, 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 yeah. You do a backflip, jump, and then you fall through. Yeah. That, I think that's one of the most fun stars I've ever done in this whole game. Because the graphics, I think they they meant for it to be that way. The graphics just, like, really freaking mess with your perception. And you have to try everything possible. And you're trying to walk through the maze as many ways as possible. But then you realize, you're like, wait, I haven't even tried getting on top yet. Because everything blends in. It's just so perfectly crafted, I think. It's, it's one of the best. Um, I also just like trying to get up to the snowman's uh, head. You can, yeah, it's not too tough. If you keep jumping, you'll be able to get over those things. So it starts getting, like, really tight up here along the side of the snowman's head, which is this freaking wooden plank. Yeah, yeah, I knew I'd fall. I was moving too fast. Come on, come on. I get mad because I'm wasting time. I'm wasting so much precious time. Come on. Oh, that, uh, that water over there you just saw to the right of me, that acts like lava, by the way, so you'll get burned on it. Come on! Precious time being wasted. On stupid mistakes. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Turn around. How are you, you fat fuck? Turn around. There. Okay. Come on! Get... I 
I just broke my... I need to switch the camera. Come on. There. <sighs> just after I got done saying this wasn't that tough. The problem is, if you bump off of it, you're going to fall back. There we go. Five minutes. Five minutes and we've got, what, one star? Wow, fantastic. So, like, I'm going back to the, um, the first episode with how I'm playing here. This is shit. So, like, you'll walk out and he'll be like, oh, whoa, who's gonna, who's that? And he'll try and blow you away. You just have to wait for this penguin. This is another really freaking, like, it can be a really glitchy part of the game. Because you can stand on top of the penguin, or you can walk next to it. Walking next to the penguin is what you're supposed to do, but if he, he walks out really far, your hat blows off. Come on, get up. Okay, there. Be careful of those things, too. Fuck this game. I, I can't even... Jakku. Okay. Another good thing to do is always have your Z button prepared to do just some jumps. Try and give tips, and then I keep getting mad because I'm dying. Because I'm talking. There, perfect. Didn't even have to gla grab onto the freaking thing. Come on, let's go. I just want to get this done. I want to get this done so we can move on to more stars. This is such bull. Careful, 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 careful. Go back. If you slide out there, you're freaking done. Just turn around. It's not worth risking. Not worth risking. We're at seven minutes. Oh, God. This penguin. It's like moonwalking. Just keep going. Okay, and then he'll turn around. It takes him ages to get back to you. So, like, you, you rely on him. The worst part is whenever he starts moving fast, because then you have to start moving fast. And usually, you can actually make a dash for it. But, yeah, and then he moves backwards. my hat go? Fuck you. You actually you'd start you'd losing life if you're missing your hat for too long. This is bad. I'm sorry, people. This is a really, really, really bad, uh... Really bad star. I'm just gonna get an easier one instead, because I know I'm gonna keep screwing up on this. It's called Over the, Over the Frosty Fucking Lake or something like that. Um... You jump down here and you grab this star. Easy, easy. I could have just done that and we could have got four stars this episode, but instead I had to go for the snowman's fat head. So, here we go. Woohoo. It's called Whirl from the Freezing Pond. I apologize. Just, there's more, like, other freaking, just, like, easier ones. So, like, there's one over here. Bully the Big Bully or something like that, or Bully the Snow Bully. Just jump, dive at him, give him a few punches, give him a run for his money. Oh, come on, no. Damn you! Yeah, this this bully is actually a lot tougher than the uh, bullies in a Lethal Lava Land, I think, because you have a uh, smaller play field, smaller space to fight him. Come on! Nope. Yep, okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, there's this really freaking small, um, play field that you have to fight him. Um, it's definitely not easy. It's a lot tougher, so don't, don't worry if you screw up your first time through. Come on. Yeah, that bullshit doesn't work here. You have to jump and then freaking kick! So that's that's it two epi uh two stars one episode bye